In this video, I'm showing you how to add mods to your Atenor server. I'm going to go and disconnect and just prove to you this is an Atenor server. I'm going to go and join it, and then I'm going to go and show you the mods I've got installed. I've got the speedometer here, so when I'm running, it's going to go and tell me how fast I'm going. If you're ready for this video, make sure you go and subscribe to the channel, and also please go and leave a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And do make sure you watch this video right until the end to so the full steps, and let's go and get straight into this. The first step is, is to go and log into your Atenos account, and you want to come to a servers page by clicking servers and you need to go and select the server of which you want to go and install the mod on so in this case I've only got one and I want to go and put mods on this server here called guide realm so I'm gonna go and click on it just like so and here we are so at the minute the server is offline it's best for it to be offline basically and all you want to do is come to the left hand side and you want to go and click on software on this side menu here so I'm going to click on software, and as you can see, we're going to do this for the Java edition of Minecraft as well. Um, so come down to Java. And all you want to do is come along until you can go and see Forge. So go and click on Forge, just like so. You can go and choose any of these installations. The only times where it really matters about what installation you have, if there is a specific mod you want which only runs on a specific version of Forge or Minecraft. And also you need to make sure you run Forge on your Minecraft client and launcher um, in the same version as it's on your server, otherwise you can't join. So everyone who wants to join as well needs to have Forge in the same version. So in this case, I want to have the 1.17.1 version. So I'm gonna go and click on it, just like so. And as you can see, here it is, um, Minecraft Forge is a free open source mod loader, and you want to go and click reinstall just here. And as you can see, it does say we are going to go and lose our current world as well. Um, so just make sure you're aware um, you're going to lose your world, and of course you can go and download it. So I'm going to go and click yes, reinstall, and as you can see, it's now installing. And once it's finished, you're going to go and get this tick. And what you're now going to notice is on the left hand side, we've now got this option here for mods. So if you go and click on mods, just like so, as you can see, we can literally go and choose all the different mods. Um, you can go and go through all of these as well. There are many to choose from. You can go and search for any mod you want using the search bar in this right hand side here. But I'm going to go and install this mod called Modern Life. So go and click on it just like so. And then once you've clicked here, it's going to go and show us all of the different versions of it for Minecraft 1.17.1. As I make kind of small updates and things like that. So I'm going to go and use this 52 one here. So I'm going to go and click on this download button and then it's going to go and add it to our server and we just have to wait for it to finish and it's going to go have a tick once it's finished. Now what's really important now is we need to go and make sure we get this exact same version of um, this mod on our computer as well so then we can go and join it and it's going to allow us all to work. So as you can see, it gives us the Curse Forge link, which is a popular mod hub. Um, so we click here, and then we're going to go and scroll down until we can go and see files just here. And it's going to go and take us to the download page. Then all we need to do is make sure we go and download the 52 version. If I go back, we install the 52 version. Um, so I'm going to want this version just here and click download file. And then the download is going to begin in three seconds. And here is the download in the bottom of my browser, but you may need to go and open up your downloads folder to go and find it. So now let's just go and drag this onto our desktop or you can leave it in your downloads folder. But essentially the mod is now fully installed on our server. So now we want to go and start the server and then we'll go and install the mod into our version of Minecraft on our computer. So I'm going to go and hit start just like so and agree to the EULA and just go and click OK. And now it's going to prepare and while it's loading and preparing, we're going to go and install the mod into our Minecraft. The first step in installing mods on Minecraft is making sure you've got something called Forge, which is the mod loader, which we also installed onto our server. We need to make sure it's installed into our Minecraft. So most likely you probably already know what Forge is. Um, you need to make sure you get the same version as our server is running on. So on my server is running on 1.17.1. So come to Forge and click on 1.17 and then we've got the option for 1.17.1. So to go and download it, go and click on Installer just like so and now it's going to go and set you to an add one. And be very careful what you click on here as I don't know what this actually is all you need to do is go to the top right where it says please wait and just wait for the skip button to appear and ignore everything on this ad wall as things could be potentially dangerous and as you can see forge is now downloaded now it's either going to be in the bottom of your browser or depending on what browser you use definitely be in your downloads folder so if it isn't in the bottom of your browser go and open your downloads folder but for now i'm going to go and drag the forge file onto my desktop just like so and now we can come and minimize or close off of our browser so here is Forge on our desktop, and all you need to do is go and install it. So go and double click on it. Now a few different things may happen. As you can see, I personally go and get the mod system installer, and you may go and get this, but if you don't, do not worry, it's a very easy fix. So if something else opens up, like another program, or Forge just doesn't open up at all, this is because you don't have Java installed, and Forge needs Java to run, as it's a jar file. So we need to go and get Java. So if yours doesn't open, we need to go and get Java, and I'll show you exactly how to do it, and then how to go and make this work. If yours is 
opening fine, do just wait a minute or two and then I'll show you how to do the rest of the installer. So come to Google or just any search browser and go and search for Java just like so and make sure you come to java.com, the official website. Then once you're here, all you need to do is go and click on download Java just like so and go and click download Java again and it's going to go and drop the download. As you can see, it's around 83 megabytes. So wait for this to finish downloading and then once it's finished downloading, just go and install it. It's a really easy install process. Open it up, you'll probably have to agree to a Windows security message and then just follow the installation instructions and then we can go and move on once you've installed it. So once you've installed Java all you need to do is come back to the forge installation file go and click on it just like so and then right click on it and you want to go and click open with and this is going to go and launch a message saying how would you want to open this file and you need to go and click more apps and go and look for Java TM platform SE binary it's probably going to be in this list somewhere I've already got it selected which is why it's at the top and then all you want to do is also go and select always use this app to open .jar files and then go and press OK. Then what it's going to go and do is going to go and use Java to go and run Forge and then we're going to go and get the mod system installer and you want to make sure install client is selected and then you can go and press OK. Then what it's going to go and do is it's going to do this whole install as you can see it's doing some downloads it's now building processes and it's going to do a whole lot of other things as well so all you need to do is sit back and wait for this to finish and once it's done you're going to go and get a message and i'll show you what it looks like and once it's finished you're going to go and get this window called complete and it's going to go and say successfully installed client profile forge and then you can go and press ok now we can go and get into the next step and all you want to do is come onto your desktop and go and press the button, the Windows key and R. It's going to go and launch this thing called run. And this allow allows us to get directly to folders. And all you need to do is type in percentage, app data percentage again, hit OK. And it's going to go and take us to this folder here. And you only want to go and click on dot Minecraft and then go and look for the mods folder, which is just here. So go and open it up just like so. And then all you need to do is go and drag this jar file straight into it. And here we are. Then we can go and close off of this. The server is now online and if you already had Minecraft open like I did, you do need to go and restart it and then go and open it up again just so it detects that we've gone and installed a mod. And from the Minecraft launcher, make sure you've got Forge selected just like I have 1.17.1 and then you can go and click play. Here we are in Minecraft and just to go and check that you successfully installed the mod onto your version of Minecraft, go and click on mods and as you can see I've got the modern life which I just installed. So now let's go and join our server. So click on multiplayer just like so and I'm going to go and create a new server and I'm just going to paste in my domain here and go and press done and as you can see it's going to be online and now I can go and click join server and as you can see we are now logging in and it's going to let me in absolutely fine because we successfully set all the mods up. I just updated my game mode to creative so I can go and show you the awesome mod I just installed. Go and press on E so we can go and look at all of the blocks and stuff. And all you want to do is go and search in for something to do with the mod. So I actually installed the um, Modern Life pack. So I've got the speedometer here. And as you can see, when I run, I actually go and get told the blocks per second, which is really cool. And just a quick note as well, make sure you go and send this to your friends as well, just so they know how to go and join, as you need to make sure they're running the right version of Minecraft with the Forge and they've got the right version of the mod. Everything needs to combine and then the user can join. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.